Welcome to another Method Man Productions episode. This is part two of solving literal equations. For example one, we're going to solve for b, meaning that I want to have b all by itself on one side of the equal sign. I'm just going to start off by labeling the left side b, because that's where the variable is at. I want to get rid of a bunch of things on the left side, but let's first get rid of this 3 by subtracting a 3 to both sides. Since I can't subtract a 3 from 6m, since they're not like terms, I'm just going to put it aside like that. Let's just do one thing at a time. Let's start a new line. The 2abc squared we didn't touch, so I'm just going to rewrite that down because it drops down. We didn't touch it. The 3 and the negative 3, those cancel out. 6m we didn't touch, that drops down. The negative 3 we didn't touch, that drops down. When all these terms are next to each other, that's multiplication. To cancel out the terms you don't want, you can divide both sides by 2ac squared. Remember to do it to both sides to balance out the equation. From here, we can simplify the equation by canceling out the 2's, since they're in the numerator and denominator, the a's, and the c squared. B drops down, that's the only term left. The right side, we can't simplify that any further, so just rewrite it as it is. Moving on to example 2, solve for W. If these are getting a little confusing, just remind yourself of the same inverse operations as a normal equation. Pretend that letters are just numbers. This is division of 3R. To cancel it out, Multiply both sides by 3r, because that's the inverse operation. From here, start a new line, and the 3r's on the left, they cancel out. I'm left with 2w, that drops down, x times 3r is the same as 3rx. Since it's all multiplication, I just put in alphabetical order because you see math teachers not very good in English and spelling but we're really good with being neat and putting stuff in alphabetical order so 3rx is the same as x3r my last step is to divide 2 to both sides because 2 next to the w is multiplication and to cancel it out is division I'm left with the w on the left side equals 3rx over 2. This last example, I'm going to have you try it out. You can solve for z, so try to have z all by itself on one side of the equal sign. A little hint before you start the problem on your own. One third xyz. This is all multiplication going on here. You can rewrite this by putting all the variables on the numerator of the fraction. Kind of like this. One xyz over three equals 2xy. Those two equations mean the same thing, but I'd rather look at the one in the white font than the one in the green. Please pause the video and try out the problem. When you have finished trying the problem, unpause the video and your answer will show up right in front of you. Here is the answer from the previous slide. z equals 6. Remember, one-third xyz can be rewritten as xyz on the top over 3. Those two mean the same thing. First term I got rid of was this 3 by multiplying 3 to both sides. That drops down to 1xyz equals, and 2xy times 3 is just 6xy. My last move was to divide both sides by xy, since this is all multiplication going on. You just want to cancel out the variables that you don't want, xy. If I divide 6xy by xy, the xy's cancel out on the right side too. In the end, the 1z drops down equals 6 drops down, which is the same as z equals 6. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing, and please subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math lessons.